juggernaut. I am absolutely raging with justice. Yes, raging justice is here. Well, it's not actually here yet. It's coming out on the 8th of May. The guys at Team 17 and, and Making Games uh, sent me a preview key for me to have a look at. So, disclaimer, this was supplied to me by the game developers. Let's get that out of the way. And let's enjoy Raging Justice. So, for those of you who haven't seen the preview of this, uh, Raging Justice is an homage to the 1980s and 1990s brawler genre, the scrolling beat-em-up, you know, like Final Fight, Streets of Rage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, and so on and so forth. Um, the genre's gone away and it's it's not been seen for a while a couple of valiant attempts to bring it back have surfaced like castle crashes which was a great one scott pilgrim versus the world which is an amazing game uh phantom breaker was another one um and a couple of others some hit some missed some were complete failures like unbound saga but we'll forget all about that we are talking about raging justice okay so as I say, this game is coming out on all major platforms, Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the PC on the 8th of May. And this is just a little taste of what's going to be on offer. So um, let's let's enjoy it together, shall we? So we've got three playable characters. We've got Rick Justice. Height 6 foot 1, age 42, a veteran cop from the old school. Rick doesn't play by the rules, but he gets results. Full of brutal punches, kicks, and knees. Rick's fighting style ain't pretty, but it gets the job done. My kind of guy. Nikki Rage. Height 5 foot 9, age 31. Bio, ex-military, highly skilled with a knack for finding trouble. She has the highest conviction record in the precinct. Precise and deadly, Nikki's competitive spirit took her military training to the next level. And finally, Ashley King, the kid of the group, the skate of this game. Height 5 for 5, age a 10 to 15 years old. Ash's inner city upbringing was blighted by the fear of gang violence. It's time for payback. Fast and lethal, Ash learned to fight on the streets using movie inspiration for their most lethal moves. Let's go with the titular Justice character, Rick Justice. Okay, so in this version, um, this preview, I've got a selection of a couple of levels. That looks like there's going to be a fair few more in the finished product. And I am playing on the PC version here, um, using the Xbox One controller. City in chaos. Corruption. Car speeding. Reports continue to suggest that the mayor is being held hostage. It's all going to hell out there. Better call for backup. I'm trying, but nothing, something's wrong. No response to make you. Hey, you see that? Something in the bridge. Oh, it's a bunch of assholes. Can't be anything good. Stop the car. What do you think I'm doing? Somebody's hit the brakes. Join this cops, Rick. Get down. Arg. Oh, the car's all messed up. You okay? Sorry. You okay? Yeah, I think so. Where are we? The wrong part of town. And here we go, stage one, the streets. Warrants issued James Macon. I wonder if that has anything to do with Macon games. And David Breakin Bones. I see we've got a couple of challenges that we can use uh, to get in that extra points, um, including hit two thugs at once with a baseball bat, with pleasure. Okay, so my first impression is, whew, that art style, man. I'm not sure it's for me. Um, it, it 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 doesn't give off the first visually impressive uh, welcome. It looks like a claymation game. It reminds me a little bit of, of Clay Fighters, actually, the way it looks. Um, good job, it's fairly responsive in control. Um, it looks like you can double tap the direction pad to move and do dashes. Can we do up and down? Yeah, we can hop up and down as well. We've got a jump button. And we've looks like we've got various jumping attacks. Got a grab button, punch, and kick. 
Oh, and a special move. Okay, cool. If I press the right bumper, I get a special move. Um, fairly slow movement with a bit of motion blur in there. But it does seem fairly responsive. So let's kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of gum. Whew, okay. I've picked up the trash can and it looks like I've given Rick Justice a hernia. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that art style doesn't work for me. Perhaps you like it. It's certainly unique. Definitely striking. I mean, you'd be able to tell this game from a mile away. It's There's nothing quite like it. Um, now, what? Okay. This is the big feature of this game. It's obviously an homage to Final Fight um, and Streets of Rage. But the difference is that you can be a good cop or a bad cop. Now, a good cop arrests the perps. The bad cop kills them. So, when an enemy is low, you can bust them. I don't know how you do that. Oh, I've got a baseball bat. Well, one of the missions was to hit two thugs with a baseball bat at once. So let's get that out of the way and be awesome. Pick up that trash can and the money. Tap B while holding thugs. Okay. Oh, that's a slam. That doesn't arrest them. Okay, so how do we arrest people? Ah, oh, I see. Wait. You wait till they're dazed and then you go get them. Right. Okay, we have back attacks as well. They look quite powerful. We have an, an elbow back attack. Okay, the visual style's starting to grow on me a little bit now. Um, It's kind of low, high budget pre-rendered graphics. Um, I can see what they're kind of going for here. I think they were trying to go for a comic book aesthetic, but in a 3D kind of uh, kind of environment rather than with 2D sprites. And let's face it, 2D sprites have been done to death recently. The 8-bit style has been done to death. Um, got to applaud the developers for trying something new, really. Um, even though I'm not entirely sure right, I think it's perfect for this kind of game. For me, I think the best visual guide scrolling beat em up, recently at least, was Double Dragon Neon. I think that really encapsulated what made the genre special back in the 80s. Um, but in terms of control, this ain't bad. I'm low on health. Oh, and I've got a warrant out for this guy. Let's arrest him. Oh, I killed that one. No, I didn't. Let's arrest him too. Yeah, I'm a good cop. And I get an extra life for my trouble. Okay, th that walk animation's a little, uh, a little stiff. But, as I said, the moves are responsive to my control inputs. So that's that's one thing that a lot of games in this genre get wrong. They they kind of pre-can animations, and they, uh, they they kind of delay inputs somewhat for those animations to play out. These, these inputs are quite fast, responsive, and I don't seem to get cornered or anything like that because I'm trying to enter buttons and I'm not coming through. Okay, so we got this big Bob of Beefcake with a British flag on his chest, uh, along with tattoos that will make a sailor blush. So, Makin's... The word Makin's is everywhere in homage to Makin games. There was the, the character Makin, there's the bar Makin's. Um, this guy's a charming chap. And he's the doorman for Makin's. And what's his name? Tiny. What? what, what why, why wouldn't it be? Oh, you got ground and pound stomps. Nice. Okay. Okay, it seems like the enemies have um, invincible attacks that they can use to break a constant attack stream and turn the battle in their favour. So there's a little bit of cheapness there. Not too much. Certainly manageable. Just to stop me wailing on a bad guy like that. So you can, you can get out of it. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, he's going to do me in. Not today, buddy. Or maybe it is today. Alright, 
All right, you win. You win the battle, but I win the war. Whoa, that doesn't look good. Okay, I can't grab the boss either. So the boss, he's too big. I can't grab him. So I'll just punch him in the dick. That works. A winner is you. Okay, I failed some challenges, but... Hey ho! 26 KOs. Okay, I like the rain effect as well. That's quite well done. There does seem to be quite a pedigree of um, intelligent level layout and visuals. Okay, as this is the preview, it's taking me back to the title screen. But I can select the next level from here. Just go to go. And difficulty normal. Let's pick a different character. Let's go Ashley King. He's going to be the quick but weak character, no doubt, in this game. So I think Rick Justice is the, the Mike Hagar of, of this. Um... Certainly looks like Ashley King is the skate or the uh, or the guy in this one, and Nikki be the the Cody equivalent or the Blaze equivalent. I think this is more a homage to Streets of Rage than Final Fight. Although, from what I can see, some of the character designs are very similar to to Final Fight, the granddaddy of scrolling fighting games. So this guy, he's nice and quick, and he's got a good bit of blur on his attacks there. He doesn't have a great deal of range, but his dash does. Well, bombs away. One down. Ah, get off me, get off me, man, get off me. I'm going to arrest you and your mates. Okay, good cop. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Oh, let me guess. They're just going to be background, right? So they're just... They're going to be like an enclosed arena while I fight this big, big chubby dude. Look at his nipples. <laughs> you can see his nipples wobble. <laughs> yeah, damn right. His nipples better not be the entertainment. Oh. Oh, body shame. You don't get to body shame me. Wait, pile on? Does that mean that I'm going to be fighting all these guys at once? How is that going to work? Oh, I love the animation. <laughs> is that me? Right, let's pick up the, the weapon. Oh, okay, so we get waves. We get. Looks like we're going to fight these guys in clusters. Oh, it's better than them all pi literally piling on, I guess. All right, swing for the fences. Was that Kev Bayliss I just saw there? So there's um, some of the enemy names are are names of programmers and, and must be friends of the game developers. Uh, the people who made this game they have a pedigree. So a lot of them are ex Rare developers, so we might see some people from Rare uh, show up in this game at some point. There's that James Macon again. Dave Breaking Bones. Lucky Helena. Not that lucky for me. Ow. Just got taken out. Okay, this is getting a little crazy. Okay, arrest that one. And on to the next one. Oh, I'm caught. Get off me, man. Madame Swanky is down for the count. And so am I going to be if I don't get out of here quick. Got to get out of those corners. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's a nice fair fight. Um, and you can pretty much escape punches and you're not caught in an endless loop of being attacked. But when you're in a corner and there's four or five of these guys on you... Oh boy. Give me that paper. Alright, we'll call it a draw. 
Ow! High kick to the face. Oh, if you insist. Oh, down under thunder has gone. Who else wants some? Oh, you guys? Right, one down. The Matthew is hitting the deck. Okay, chunky lover, you must be friends with the guy in the next screen. I'm starting to get used to the aesthetic now. At first, I thought it, it looked a bit janky. And, and it still does look janky, to be perfectly honest, but this is no AAA game with a multi-million pound budget. This is a small independent studio, and I think taking that into consideration and the genre of game, it certainly stands out. And um, yeah, I'm starting to get, get used to it. I wouldn't say I'd like it yet, but uh, I, might, I might grow to love it. In terms of actual gameplay, it feels fairly tight. Although my running animation with this guy looks a little odd. Party's over, put down the bar snacks and start talking. What have you done with the mayor? Hey, 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 I ain't close to him. But by the time you track him down, he ain't gonna make no difference. Okay, whatever, out the way. I don't have time to waste on bottom feeders like you. Make time. Oh shit, there's two of them. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Did I make vests that size? I mean, I am a big gent, but holy shit, these guys. Man. Have a bag to the balls. Okay, Dwayne and Charlton. The least gang member names ever. Okay, so these bosses, much like the last one, do have frames of animation where they're invincible. And it seems like that dash and the charge up to it are those moments of invincibility. So I just have to get them down and then when they start charging, I gotta run. Oh, they can hit each other as well. So, so that's good. Maybe I can set up them to attack each other somehow. There is a, a cooldown charge on your dash abilities, so you can't spam them. And when I do use it, it doesn't look like it actually does any damage. Let's look at the damage counter. No, it does no damage to these guys. But kicking them in the crackers does while they're down on the floor. So let's do that. Let's be a ball breaker. How you like my nail? Oh, I can't even kick them in the air when they do that. Run! Kick them in the balls, kick them in the shins, kick them in the face. Gotta get a win. Right, one down. Yeah. Oof! How you like them apples? I kicked your apples into your throat. Okay, I quite like the control of this guy. Um, fast, fluid, um, even more responsive than, than uh, what was his name? Rick Justice. Um, let's check out the third level with the third character, shall we? Enraging Justice. And let's check out Brawl Mode in a while as well. Should we see what Tough Guy Mode's like? Let's give Tough Guy a go. And let's pick Nikki Rage. Let's go to this level here. We're missing a level. Interesting how this preview goes from level 1 to level 2, straight up to level 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stages with the possibility of a tenth one unlocked in the future, maybe? Who knows? Not bad, though. Okay. 
Okay. Wait, ride a tractor for 15 seconds. Okie dokie. Ah, dog, get off me, man. Good doggy. Now sit. Devil's mistress is down. Nikki Naxmal is down, and the evil Ezra. Ah! Oh. How you like that? I hit two for one. You know what? It's just occurred to me. I haven't arrested anyone for a while. I went through pretty much the entire last level just kicking people's ass. Let's try and arrest this guy. Yeah, good cop. Well, that's a nice dash move there. That works pretty well. Oh no, it's the big chunkies from the first level. And two dogs. Let's get rid of the dogs first, they're quite nasty. Steven Berserk and Paul Megan. Again, with the making name in this game, I get the feeling that we will see a making in every level. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being proud of your work. Wanting to put your stamp on it, your name. Oh, I forgot to mention, you may notice that there's a lot of enemies with Brit flags on them. Um, this game is made in Britain. This is a, a UK developed game from a small indie studio. Um, I'm not sure if they made any previous games. I, I haven't heard of them before, so this could very well be their first ever entry into into game development. And for that, you know, as an indie studio, it's it's quite commendable. They're doing something they love. This game has been in development for quite a while. I understand too, a couple of good couple of years. It's been a labour love project for for many of the devs there. Damn. Okay, tough guy mode does exactly what it says on the tin. Riding the tractor. Let's see how that feels. Ooh, yeah, ride him, cowboy. Or cowgirl, shall I say. Man. Back on the tractor. Watch. Watch the iron. Or the steel girder. Is it iron? Is it steel? I reckon it's steel. Ow! And that just plain was nasty. Stop! Hammer time! And I'm dead. But there's an extra life right there, let's get to it. You can do it, put your back into it. Damn. Ah, come on. Oh, look, there's Kim Justice. Kim Justice. Kim Justice is a, a UK YouTuber. Does a lot of good documentaries. She's uh, she's pretty cool. And her name makes a cameo appearance in this game. That's, that's pretty neat. I wonder if she's aware of that. Get off me! Get off me! Okay, I can use the dash to get through their dash, which is pretty neat. So I can just use that to escape if necessary. And uh, it seems like it's definitely going to be necessary going forward. Whoa! this one in the crackers until he dies too. More bikes. Ah. 
Should we give this game the ultimate test? Now, there's a phrase brought from Virtua Fighter 2, which um, can be the make or break of any scrolling beat-em-up. It's called the Senbon Punch. And basically what it is, is rather than letting your game um, character complete a combo, if you get the punch timing right, in some games you can do a continual combo and completely drain an enemy's health without them being able to fight back. Streets of Rage 2 uh, was, was good for that. Uh, Streets of Rage 2, if you got the timing down, you could send bomb punch all day long. And when you got the timing down, that made the game a cake because you just basically just punch them in the face until they keel over. Now let's see if we can do it here. Oh, the dogs come to the rescue. Now it seems like due, due to the sheer amount of enemies on screen, I'm not going to be able to do it just yet. Let's try and thin the herd a little bit first. Oh, I got smashed. That was a complete smashing. Don't oh, arrest your ass. Lucky Helena again. You got out of jail pretty quick for your heinous crimes. Tall baby John. You know, your face looks familiar. Maybe it's because I killed your doppelgangers a million times over. Well, that's how it feels sometimes. And I'm just getting literally steamrolled by these guys. Oh, baseball bat. Thank you. Ah. I'm down to my last credit. This is pretty tough, this, uh, this tough guy mode. The name is appropriate. I'm getting destroyed and brought in the corners constantly. The enemies are blocking more on my attacks, and it is posing quite a challenge. And these big guys, they don't do much to help matters. Okay, it seems like Sembon punches do work. However, this is a pre-release uh, game. They might fix that in the full version. Um, or I might have just gotten lucky there. Guess you think you got nerves of steel coming down here. You realize I crush steel for a living, right? Okay, that looks like a cross between Eddie from Final Fight and George Michael. May he rest in peace. Well, everyone needs a hobby. Can we skip this whole thing? I'm kind of tired of you big lugs getting between me and the mayor. Ah, yes, our city's fearless leader. Won't he be pleased to see you? I mean, he would, if there was any chance of you making it that far. The only thing that'll stop me is you talking me to death. Now move! Wow, half a health bar with a couple of hits. Yeah, typical old school boss mentality there. Just pummel you into submission without giving you a chance. Ow! Okay, the old shockwave trick, huh? And now he's retreated from the fight until I take out the enemies in the room. In the area. Wow, my health is going down. Damn. Oh, come on, man. What? That's two lives gone on my last credit already.
Okay, big boy. Can I ask you a question? Well, you definitely can't send on punch the, the bosses. Oh, game over. Okay. All right, let's check out Brawl Mode. See what that has to offer. Of course, these games are best played in two-player. Unfortunately, as it's late at night at the moment, my little two-player buddy, my son Max, can't join me. Um, where arenas do we have? Oh, look, there's a couple of arenas that we don't see in the preview. Uh, let's go for the circus. Big top brawl. Will you survive? Probably not. Wave one. There's the first wave. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, those sand bomb punches do seem to work quite well to a degree. And then the degree turns around and bites you in the ass. Okay, well I didn't last very long, so that's just a survival arena mode. It could be quite fun in two-player though. So, what do I think about Raging Justice? Well, eh, to be honest with you, it's not going to win any awards. It's it's just not. It's it's okay. I think it has its merits. There are a few things that need polishing, uh, but um, I think. With the time between now and launch, um, with a day one patch, that could be easily rectified if the devs wanted to do that. Um, for the price that this game's going out at, it's not a full price release, um, and, and it's a downloadable title. I think for the price, it can find a, a market. It can find a niche there. It, it is fun. It may not be as good as the reference material it's referencing, but it gives you the same vibe as those old classic games. You know, nothing's going to top the Streets of Rage series. Nothing's going to top the Final Fight series. And perhaps that's why the genre died slowly, you know, over time. Because those classics set the bar so freaking high that nothing else could match it. Now, I've got to give credit to the guys who make this game, you know, uh, making games. And Team 17 for releasing it. A, for taking a risk on a genre that's not that popular right now and b for taking a risk with a unusual art style in a, in a in a release i've never seen a game quite like it not since clay fighter or or something like that it also reminds me a little bit of donkey kong country in the way that the the pre-rendered graphics move and and act and are manipulated on screen it's got this kind of disjointed dreamy yet semi-realistic feel to it um i love the fact that it's got all these references to youtubers uh, to other game characters um all of that stuff in there just nice little touches that enhances replay value the three characters have their own strengths and weaknesses that seems pretty cool and the levels seem varied if 
the enemies don't on this particular preview. I'm sure in the final version there'll be more enemy variety for you to beat up with your fists. I love the good cop, bad cop mechanic. I think that's a real evolution in this type of game. I think that's pretty cool, especially if there's good and bad endings relating to how you play. I think, I think on the whole, Raging Justice should be something that you check out when it gets released on the 8th of May for the PC, for Xbox One, for the PS4, and the Nintendo Switch. And I reckon it'll be awesome on the Switch especially, um, purely because it's portable. Portable ass kickery with a friend with those two controllers, I think that'll be just, just the sweet spot. And I look forward to taking it to work and playing the game at work with my workmates on our break. I think that'll be really cool. Um, anyhow, let's have a look. Keep your eyes peeled on Raging Justice. Let's see if the things I said need fixing are fixed for the final release in a few weeks' time. And expect my review coming up soon. When that full game launches, I'll be right there, ready to play, ready to give you my overall unbiased verdict. All right? Okay, but until then, I hope you've enjoyed watching me play this, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. And if you have enjoyed this, then please subscribe. I've got some really cool stuff coming up. If you don't want to miss it, then also touch my bell end and turn on notifications in the appropriate boxes. You'll see all my new top lists, all my new previews, some reviews coming up soon of some awesome hardware that's not been announced yet officially, and other cool stuff. Bye for now.